All right, guys, we've got the Z-Force one more time for another video for you. And this goes for any of the CF motos. If you're wanting to install a synthetic rope, replace your cable rope, wire rope. Doesn't matter if it's a new one and you just want to go straight to it or you got an old wore out cable, broke cable, whatever. We're going to show you how to replace this one and put the CF Moto synthetic rope. So Joel, take us through the steps and help the people out a little bit. Took the hook off first, just the car to keep, and then put the wrench on the brake stand and then we're just going to pull it all off. If it's old and muddy though, you'll probably have to yeah, hold work. the button down. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes they won't pull out very easy. And also wear like some gloves. This is a brand new one, so it's not going to get Joel, but he's still being very careful and not letting it slide through his hand. But if you got to use one, you most definitely want to wear gloves pulling this out. Just be careful because it can poke into you. It's going to get it all out. Okay, once you pull it around, you're going to be able to reveal this three millimeter Allen screw. And that's what's holding that cable in place. And he's going to just loosen that up. And then pull it out. And now, it's a very simple process. We're going to go ahead and replace the Fairlead rollers here. And one thing, if you're doing this on a used one, you definitely want to replace this because uh, it can nick. You can have nicks and cuts and stuff on your roller. Plus, and this is for cable only. Like right, say if you're right. pulling up, hitting on this metal or something, this is what you want. Right. You want to it's replace sweet. it with this. And that's, that's what that's for. And this is, this is designed for the cable. So we're going to replace that. Put what you need on it. But first, Joel's going to go ahead and we're going to thread up the synthetic rope. So just find your end. Put it back in that same hole that the wire rope came out of. Push that in there all the way. Feed it in and then tighten up your set screw there, that Allen screw. And that's just to hold it in place while we thread that up. Just a, another tip that we highly recommend, you wanna crank the unit up because the winch does take a lot of power and it can drain your battery if you just turn the key on and try to run it. So uh, definitely recommend cranking it up during this part of the process. We want to hold some tension and make sure it rolls up nice and evenly. You got it. All right, we'll let Joel take over. I'll zoom in here. Just get it nice and even. You don't want it to wide up. All right, just speed it all the way through. All right, so leave some slack there. All right, so now we're gonna simply feed that through. bolts in place all right so now that we've got that tightened up we're going to take and put our hook on all right now we can winch it the rest of the way up all right boys that's a done deal so very simple you can do this yourself you can get your synthetic rope at mainstreetcycle.com and that goes for any CF Moto in the lineup. The only one that actually comes with the synthetic rope is the HOEX 950. So if you want to upgrade or replace your broken cable or just replace one that's wore out, I highly recommend you go with this synthetic rope. 
get it at MainStreetCycle.com as well as all of your CF Moto accessories. Remember when you put in your order, if it's a order that is over $100 and it's an item that uh, we handle and ship in house, as long as we got some Main Street Cycle t-shirts, you can put that in the notes section as you check out. Also, don't forget to tune in every Monday to the Real Talk Power Sports YouTube channel to get your weekly discount from the store at MainStreetCycle.com. Hope you enjoyed this one. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.